Oh, I'll tell you, one of the hardest things in the world for me is picking my tree stand location. Right down to the freaking tree. <sighs> Very difficult. You try to imagine everything in your head and it never goes that way. However, so I have the tree stand all up here. The deer are coming this way. I think I can pick a solid tree already up on this incline and then another 15 feet up. I'll be invisible. I'll be able to utilize this road. I'll be able to catch some maybe coming out of this bottom here. And obviously catch them coming right across, which I've already seen on camera. You know. The downside is there's a lot of limbs. So I'll be limited on my shots. Anything over here is going to be an awesome shot. So I'm picking like one of these trees. One of these trees there maybe. And I'll be hidden up in that tree. I mean, honest to God, it's going to be... I think that's a good spot. I really do. And get it up there. And I can utilize this whole corner and be invisible to it. What I'm afraid of is if I pick a tree down here, as soon as they come up, as they're coming up this ridge here, they're going to have a field of view of me sitting in one of those trees. And the same thing, there's a hill coming up on this side. As they're coming up the hill, they're going to see me in the tree. But if I'm... 30 feet in the air now I just have to really consider that because I haven't shot anything like that I'm gonna have to bring a target up here and get up there and shoot you know put it down here I don't want to just pick any tree if I pick any of these trees back here they're gonna see me coming down I move a lot and I'm trying to hide and the way to hide that movement is out of sight.
this is the problem. We gotta get this lower than the damn tree. There we are. Now I can try to see it up. Like I said, this is gonna zap your energy. I wish I had a good jack. That's it, unless I cut that branch. <clears throat> so I'd like to face it kind of this way.
So if you wonder why hunters don't want to share their hunting spots or their deer meat. You didn't put in on this. Do you see anyone around me? Well, this is the part no one likes. Gotta get up there and strap it in. I have to get up to the top and there's a strap up there. I gotta strap it in. Normally don't slap the shit out of myself like this, but holy shit, these mosquitoes. Let's go check the tree stand out. footer I think it's an old one it's always work to do on these bugs these bugs are horrible this year they're not bad every year but holy shit uh, seems so little I don't like the bottom like it's not doesn't feel like it's packed down yet Well, I'm all wrapped up. It's going to be a nice spot. Overlooks the quad trail again. So I'm up a hill quite a bit. 15 yards. And then another 15 foot tree stand. And once these leaves are gone, I'll be able to see a little better and pick my I'll be able to pick my shot. I believe they're coming right through here. So, we'll see what happens. Hey, there's no getting away from those damn mosquitoes. So many good places here to put a tree stand. 
I was thinking putting something up over in there, but I want it to be closer on this trail. And I know they're using this trail. So, instead of putting it on the flats down here where I think anything will spot you, you know. So I, uh, I put it up there. And it overlooks on top of that hill 20 feet plus another 15 feet. So now we can see everything up there, this whole bend. And they're coming through here. And I know they're staying on this trail and going behind it. Yep, and I'll be right there eating cupcakes. I'll tell you, that's what it's all about. Getting out in the woods, trying to come up with a plan. You know, just getting that tree stand in the woods was such an accomplishment. And then actually getting the damn thing set up, that was a big plus today. I didn't expect that. And the uh, second stand, the original stand they went up there for, I forgot the keys. So it, it just worked out. I focused on that one stand. And uh, I, I have a feeling it's going to produce. Uh, not only for me, but I put these up so anyone in the group can hunt them. I, I enjoy doing it, trying to figure out the land, and, you know, I got a ton of cameras out, so I'm starting to get a lot of feedback and positioning these these uh, tree stands. I, I'm actually more than just guessing now. I have a little bit of uh, info, you know, a whole season now, like 12 cameras, so it's it's coming along, and I appreciate you watching. And I'll get better at this. I, I'll try. I'll keep you posted.